mga kawawmat, in this video, we will discuss and illustrate rational algebraic expressions. We will also simplify rational algebraic expressions. So first, what is a rational algebraic expression? So it is a rational expression in one variable. It is an expression that can be written in the form p over q where p and q are polynomials. Now, these are the examples. So I have 4 over x minus 2, 4x over x squared plus 9, x squared plus 2x minus 35 all over 3x plus 4. Now remember that your q o yung denominator na natin, it must not be equal to 0. So hindi dapat siya mag-equal sa 0. Bakit? Para hindi siya maging undefined. So remember, uh, kapag ang denominator natin nag-equal to sa 0, that will make your rational algebraic expressions undefined. So be careful. Okay, and uh, sub trying to substitute a value to the variable. Now, what is domain? So a domain is the set of all possible values of the variable that are allowed. So ito lang yung mga numbers na pwede nating i-substitute sa variable para ang, ex ang expression mo ay rational algebraic expressions pa rin. Because kapag nag-substitute ka ng uh, value sa variable mo na hindi po pwede, yun yung tinatawag nating restricted values. It can make a rational expression undefined or simply yung denominator mo mag-i-equal sa zero. So yun ang iiwasan natin, yung tinatawag nating restricted values. Okay, let us recall. How to make a rational expression undefined? So, paano ba natin malalaman yung mga values ng variable na hindi natin pwedeng i-substitute para hindi maging undefined ang rational expression natin? So, first, you have to equate the denominator by 0. So, copy the denominator, that is x minus 4. So, equal 0 kasi ang sabi dito ay equate. And then next step, solve for the variable. So we will have x is equal to 0 plus 4. And that is x is equal to 4. So therefore, our domain will be all real numbers except 4. So yung 4, ito yung tinatawag nating restricted value. Next. So how to make 2x over x squared plus 5x plus 6 undefined? So again, first equate the denominator by 0. So we will have x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now we all know that x squared plus 5x plus 6 can be factorable. Tama? So we will have x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, itong x squared plus 5x plus 6 is a general trinomial na pwede nating i-factor. So, next is solve for the variable. Now, since dalawa yung factors natin dito, therefore, dalawang va value ng variable ang restricted natin dito. So, we will have, the first one is x plus 2 is equal to 0 based dito sa nakuha natin. So, x plus 2 is equal to 0 and the other one is x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, we will solve for x. So, we will have x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 3. So, therefore, our domain will be all real numbers except negative 2 and negative 3. So, itong negative 2 and negative 3, ito yung restricted values natin na hindi siya pwedeng ilagay dun sa x kasi that will make your rational expression undefined. Another, so I have here 2x all over x squared minus 9. So first, equate the denominator to 0. So copy your denominator. That is x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Now we all know that this is an example of a what? difference of two squares that is good okay so since this is a difference of two squares so therefore our factors will be the sum and difference of these squares okay so what is the square root of x squared that is x what is the square root of 9 that is 3 so we will just have the sum and difference of x and 3 so we will have x plus 3 and x minus 3 is equal to 0 okay now so we have two factors Next step is we will solve for the variable. 
So first is x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we will have x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to positive 3. So our domain will be all real numbers except negative 3 and positive 3. So negative 3 and positive 3 are the restricted values of 2x all over x squared minus 9. Okay, let's move on on how to simplify rational algebraic expression. Paano ba tayo nagsisimplify ng rational algebraic expressions? Simply, uh, ang ginagawa natin dito is we are trying to get its lowest term. Okay, if it's possible to find or use the GCF, do it. Okay, so let's have an example. So I have here 6x plus 12 over 3. So, since ang numerator natin ay may GCF, which is 3, so our first step is you have to factor the numerator and the denominator. So, our numerator will be 3 times 2x plus 4 since our GCF is 3. So, let us check. 3 times 2x, that is 6x. And then 3 times 4, that is 12. Okay? And then we will just copy the denominator, which is 3. So we now have the factor, uh, factor uh, of the our numerator. And then we just copy the denominator. Now, we will cancel out or divide the common factors. Now, what is the common factor? Of course, it's obvious, diba? So we have 3. So we will cancel out 3. So what's left? is 2x plus 4. So therefore, uh, the final answer is 2x plus 4. Next, I have here x squared minus 6x plus 8 all over 4x minus 8. So again, the GCF of our denominator is 4. Now, yung numerator natin, wala siyang GCF because this is an example of a general trinomial so we have to factor out okay so factor the numerator and denominator so the uh, factored form of our numerator since this is a general trinomial so we will have x minus 4 and x minus 2 okay um, kung if you have questions on how to factor general trinomials pwede nyong balikan yung mga video tutorials natin meron tayo dito sa walmat and then, so since the denominator is 4x minus 8 and the GCF is 4, uh, so we will have 4 times x minus 2. So this is 4 times x, that is 4x. And then 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8. So this is our factored form. Okay, now, so we will now cancel out or divide the common factor. So it's very obvious naman that our common factor is x minus 2. So we will cancel out x minus 2. Therefore, our simplified answer is x minus 4 over 4. Now, by the way, we cannot cancel this too, ha? Kasi this is the factored form. Well, this one is a numerical coefficient. Another example, I have a squared plus a minus 6 all over a squared minus 2a minus 15. So these two are both factorable. So let us factor the numerator and denominator. Now, a numerator natin, this is also a general trinomial. So we will have a plus 3 times a minus 2. Also, our denominator, that is a minus 5 times a plus 3. So ito, check nyo yan if you are going to watch our video on how to factor general trinomials. And then, we will cancel out or divide the common factor. So, it's very obvious that the common factor is a plus 3. So, we will cancel out. So, what's left is a minus 2 over a minus 5. Okay, now, I have here 3x squared y raised to 4 all over 9x cubed y squared. So, first, factor the numerator and the denominator. So, ito, ang ginawa ko, in-expand ko siya. So, par, um, uh, para siyang prime factorization. Okay? So, now, bakit ko siya, bakit ko in-expand itong y raised to 4? Ginawa ko siyang y squared times y squared. Para mapareho siya dito, so we can cancel out later. Okay? And then, also, etong 3, ginawa ko siyang squared and 1. Para merong pareho. Okay, so next, cancel out or divide the common factors. So, we will have, makakancel na natin si x squared. 
makakancel natin si y squared. So, ang natira na lang ay y squared at x. Now, anong gagawin natin dito sa 3 and 9? We get the lowest term or uh, we can make use of the GCF. Okay, the GCF is 3. Okay, so 3 divided by 3, that is 1, and then 9 divided by 3, that is 3. So therefore, pag kinansel natin yan, we will have, so this is 1, so hindi na natin kailangan ilagay si 1. Okay, and then this is 3. Now, since ang natira dito ay y squared nyo lang, and then dito sa denominator ay x. Now, another way is you can simply subtract the exponents of... Uh, variable uh, with the same base. Okay, so halimbawa, ito. So, I have here, ito, pareho silang x. So, we can subtract the exponent. So, 3 minus 2, that is 1. Kaya 1 na lang to. Okay? And then, 4 minus 2, that is 2. Kaya this is 2. Now, ang question dito, saan natin ilalagay yung sagot? So, look at the uh, bigger exponent, kung ano yung mas mataas. So, since dito, mas mas taas si 3, dito mo ilalagay yung x. And then dito, since mas mataas si 4, so you will place y squared doon sa numerator. Next, I have 12 x raised to 5, y raised to 4, over 2 x raised to 3, y raised to 7. So, factor the numerator and denominator. So, again, ang ginawa natin kanina, para mapareho natin siya dito, ginawa ko siyang x cubed and x squared. And then, ito naman, para mapareho natin siya sa y raised to 4, ginawa ko siyang y raised to 4 and y raised to 3. Okay? And then, we will cancel out or divide the common factors. So, we will have, ito na siya. So, makakancel na natin si x raised to 3. Makakancel din natin si y raised to 4. So, ano na lang ang natira? x squared over y cubed. Anong gagawin natin dito? Just get the lowest term or simplify. So, 12 divided by 2, that is 6. So, sa numerator siya kasi mas mataas si 12. Okay? Hindi naman siya 2 over 12 para ang 6 ilalagay natin sa denominator. So, anong natira dito? We have x squared. And then, y cubed. O simply, pwede nga, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, 5 minus 3, that is x squared. So, since mas mataas si 5, sa numerator siya. And then, 7 minus 4, that is y cubed. Mas mataas si 7, so sa denominator natin ilalagay si y cubed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.